Waymo is a great example, and I don't mean to single them out as like, like they're doing an incredible job and they're trying to tackle a monumental problem, but they've had cars driving in SF for ages. And I think it was San Diego they tried to expand to. So they basically just picked the cars up, deployed them in San Diego. Like obviously they added some data and like did some work. It just didn't work at all. Like the, the mm. all of the training and years of driving and like millions of miles probably of data that they had, it doesn't apply to San Diego because it's not San Francisco. And so like the task of making these autonomous vehicles safe in every city is huge. Mm-hmm. And there's a ton of really cool companies that are building in that space. Waymo is one of them. Amazon Zooks is another. Zooks is one of our customers. And then you have like Toyota and GAC, also customers of ours, building either autonomy into existing vehicles or trying to build out net new cool functionality. But um, I'm a huge sci-fi nerd, so I'm excited by all of it. And if you haven't checked out Zooks, uh, they are a customer, but like clearly not not like a real plug here. Zooks.com, one of the coolest things I've seen in ages. They're in yeah. uh, Vegas. It's a four-seat robo-taxi. But rather than having like a Waymo style where it's just like a Jaguar F-Pace or whatever they are with the wheel, mm-hmm. um, this is a purpose-built, like fully autonomous vehicle. So it's a bench at the back that I think sits two looking this way. And then there's a bench at the front that sits two looking the other way. And then it's got little sliding doors that open. And so it's got wow. like the LIDAR on all four sides. It's just super cool. It looks really, really neat. And they're, <laughs> yeah. they're, they're working. They're like driving all around Vegas today. 